Hey guys, my name is Courtney J and welcome back to my YouTube video. So it is Wednesday, September 7th, I believe, or no, September 8th. And we are somewhere by the River Rock here in Tampa and we are at Heights Public Market. This is day two of us being in Tampa. He is so cute! Hi! Hi, cutie! Look at him! He is so cute! What's his name? Rocky. Rocky. Hi, Rocky. He's so cute. How old is he? Oh, you so precious! You look like my dog Ben at my mommy's house. He's so cute. Okay, I'll stop being weird. <laughs> Thank you. My sister and I just decided to basically just go around and go to a river walk before we head out and do stuff. I woke up around like 9.15ish and I had breakfast, walked Peppa, talked to my friends to start my day, and then my sister, she walked her dog, went to the gym. We went to the hair store, didn't find anything for me. They don't have my lace glue down here. That's so unfortunate. Now we're just here, basically. I am TikTok vlogging too. I really pray I don't get copyrighted for this music behind me. But yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. We're gonna have a great freaking day. Hey you guys, so we just finished getting lunch. I couldn't record because they had music playing in the background. I didn't eat because I'm full from breakfast, but she had the firecracker chicken and it was really Fire good. Roasted? Oh shit. <laughs> and it was really good. It didn't taste spicy at all. It, it was the restaurant called U Ulele. Yeah, Ulele. Ulele over here. Um, just look up U-L-E-L-E -L -L -E restaurant in Tampa. It's a really nice area. This whole area over here is really nice where the river is. And they have a little like kiddie pool for children. If you guys have children, so if you ever come to Tampa, do that. You can bring your dogs here too. There's so many dogs outside just running around. Just a chill vibe <laughs> out here. It is. We love Florida. Hey you guys, so it is 4 40 something almost five o'clock and we are all dressed and ready to go we're gonna go back to club number one um their times are 11 to 6 so we're gonna make it just in time and then another club we're gonna check out possibly depending on how club number one goes is club number two they're from four to six so if club number one you know, hurries up with the process, then we may be able to make it to club number two, who knows, but either way, club number three, or no, club number four, where we got hired at, is where we'll be working tonight. So this is what I'm just wearing today, you guys, and it's like a dress in my good booties. Don't worry, I have on shorts underneath. So yeah, this is something simple, it's an oversized shirt. I got it from Rainbow, can y'all believe that? I love prints like these. Try this one more again. We're gonna try this one more again. <laughs> Hey you guys, so we just finished with the audition and I like the club on the inside. Um, so basically audition went great, we got tipped on stage again. But I don't know, they thought we were really pretty. No, we got tips, like people were fucking with us, but I feel like the house mom and the managers like were bullshitting. That's what I feel. But we'll come, she said she'll call us, so we'll see. We, we already know how that goes. She said that she overcompensated over um, employed basically. But you got girls in there drunk on the floor. You got a whole bunch of bullshit going on. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't make sense. If you see girls in there that's making money versus girls in there that's getting drunk and sitting on the floor. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's just weird. And there were other black girls in there too. It was like two other black girls that were in there. Yeah. No, they don't look like us and we don't look like them, but it's like if they were higher, we should have been hired. Right. Not saying those girls were bad looking, but I'm just saying, like, if they're hired, 
And then this so what other. What was she saying? We um. She over what? She paid. She hired too many girls today. Cause you know how that girl said she got hired thirty minutes ago. Yeah. I just felt like if she was hired, we should have been hired. I feel like okay, they were hired today, but we don't have to work today as long as we know we're hired. Yeah. I wouldn't mind working today, but we didn't have to work today. So what does she mean? Give us like a week or two. Give them a week or two. Cause we just did an audition. I don't know. A lot of clubs. Well, I don't know when was the last time you looked for clubs, but times have changed since you started dancing. So I have auditioned at different clubs since I've been dancing. So I don't understand. Like you don't have to audition. White clubs are different. I guess. White I mean, no black different. clubs. You don't have to audition at all. Yeah. But even at white clubs, you go in there. I feel like they already have your name information now. Like you already auditioned, and within thirty days. Then I don't understand what's the difference next week if we come back and audition again versus today. Like you already know what we look like on stage, so what's the point of us coming back to audition again? For you. Mm, who knows? Like what's gonna change between today and next week? I guess if they're desperate for girls to dance. I mean, I don't mind coming back next week. I'm going I'm definitely gonna call up here next week. Speak to Wendy. But all right, we're about to see what to do. We have like two hours to spare. You guys, so we're at the beach right now and we're about to count the money that we got. And she was like, we're really counting money while walking. Kiara. Hold on, I'm looking for something. Right, I'm two, three, four. <laughs> Wait, we got the crisp bills. Hold the fuck up. We got the crisp bills. She said we look like, wait. This is like prostitutes counting money. <laughs> My bitch bag looking like a bag of money. 21, 2, One, two three, three, four, four eight, nine, five. Hold up. Five, 20, six, let me see. 7, 8, 9, let me see. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, that's the first 20. Okay, this is 20. 20, 20, mm -hmm. okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12. 12. So, 6. 6. There you go. So, we each got 26 dollars. So, that was what? From our dish. 50, 26 plus 26. So, wait. 26 plus 26. 6 plus 6 is 12. Put the 2, 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. So, it's 52 dollars. Oh, okay. That we got together. <laughs> so yeah, now we're about to. What are we about to do? We're about to go to Hooters. Yeah, we're gonna walk the strip. We're gonna walk the strip before we go to Club Number Two from yesterday. No, go Club Number Three from yesterday. Oh. Okay, we're on our way to audition at this club. <laughs> it was right across the club that we got hired at. So yeah, <laughs> and this place has had more people come in it than. The one that we got hired at all day <laughs> so that was the best basically um kept giving us the run around stuff like that so now we are at our club that we got hired at and we're going to see how their wednesdays are and i'm praying that it is a great freaking wednesday please so we are Heading back to the hotel, tonight was trash. Well, at least for me it was, again. I had money thrown me on stage, and I gave a dance. Some guy put a 20 in my outfit. I think I met a multi-millionaire that has a yacht. I don't even know. It's just so like, it's weird because the club that we got hired at is a white club. It's not a black club at all. We're the only black girls there. Where the key at? It's just so like annoying because it's like I tr I've been trying so hard to get to a point where I can even feel confident in going up to any and everybody at my club in Charlotte, my black club in Charlotte. Even when I went to Philly getting used to just going up or whatever because in urban clubs they just want you to just they want you to just do that and if they don't like it for your size then they'll tell you no but more than likely you're still gonna make a bag if you're in a club that has like the clientele like that 
I just feel like an urban club is more efficient for me to make a bat because I'm, I'm going to be accepted just off the strength that I am black. It's only going to be more difficult because I'm not thick as the others. However, okay. I have my. However, I have other assets that make up for it. You Where know what I mean? Are. But in white, in white clubs, you know, it's like okay, yay, they hired us, so obviously they feel like you know we fit in. But now we have to deal with these customers. Now we have to, you know, deal with not getting tipped when we go on stage. But the minute we get off, everybody else is getting tipped and we haven't. I think they're doing some slavery shit. What? <laughs> I do. Why do you think that? Because they be treating us, they be looking at us like we slaves now. The four men, they be all be looking like... Every time I look at them, it's like they're not used to black girls, and they look at us crazy. I just don't understand why they be treating us like this, but they literally play, they they play, play our music in the club. Yeah, for the white girls. They, they literally. So why are you looking at black people crazy if you use our music? It doesn't make any sense. Where did we where go? You're too far up. <laughs> go back down. <laughs> but yeah, but so. Only they, every time I look around, like the security be looking crazy. I just don't know how to feel you guys. The, the manager tonight started acting crazy and we got hired. Everybody's fucking crazy. I literally made like 1200 in two days. Like, I didn't work at all last week, you guys, because I was in Greensboro. And then I started back working on Friday, and I worked on Sunday. I didn't work Saturday because I went to um, the rapper's concert and shit like that. And I literally made over $1,200 in two days in a week from not working for a week at my urban club. So it's just like, I know what the fuck I'm capable of making in just two freaking days alone. Here, it should be at least close to a thousand or something. I don't know, but... I don't know, I feel like they don't look at us the same. Like, we just say... I feel like they're racist, honestly. Too skinny for the big booty clubs. Too black no, for the like, white come clubs. Come let's treat my shit. I just feel like I don't I don't know we're people that can adapt to any environment so that we can do this shit it's just dealing with the clientele you see how quick I was on that shit tonight I was oh you got me fucked up I wouldn't lie to every motherfucking nigga in here once I get into a mood of where I'm just over it I'm just over it and don't even feel like doing shit but I have to force myself because every time I kept trying to leave a customer would come and get my attention but I should have left early because that last nigga wasn't talking about shit. I should have freaking. <laughs> yeah, the millionaire. They're right. You on the phone? I'm vlogging. Uh, Ready. Where are we? Where are we going? Anyways, y'all. I'm going to keep my spirit, so we're going to sleep on it and see what we want to do tomorrow. Okay, You just complained about making six hundred dollars for two weeks <laughs> on your paycheck when you worked at um, Sprouts. Where did you work at? I worked at Marshalls. Marshalls. You just complained about how little that money is. Now you complain about <laughs> thousands a night. I just know. <laughs> I just know who I am. I just don't like. No, I just mean, don't like feeling not about. accepted. Was money, I was literally making like four hundred to six hundred every two weeks, if that, when I was in and high Marshall? school. If that, I was making less than that for sure. Two hundred twenty dollars every two weeks. <laughs> I didn't make hundred dollars tonight. You know what I'm saying? I'm like in the, in the night in Charlotte. Oh. Charlotte is fine. Like, my club has money in it. You just have to hustle for it. Like, I like my club. I just have to, you know, just be used to going up to any, everybody. That's it. But I'm I'm getting used to it now. So it's more, you know, that's how I'm able to make my bag. It's just dealing with the clubs, like the white clubs. This is not very <laughs> it gives me leather and lace vibes when I first started in Charlotte when I was in Gastonia. But it was, yeah, I don't know what's going on tonight. 
They say yeah, white yeah. men love black girls. Where the fuck are they at? Because they have not been spending like I thought Nobody they were. Nobody trying to block up them. Why are you walking like that? But yeah, y'all. So that's it. There's something on my glasses. But that's it tonight. <sighs> I'm ending the vlog here because I'm just, uh, words of encouragement would be nice, but yeah, this is real life. The other club we went to, I'm going to tell y'all we went to, we went to Penthouse, Penthouse acted like they didn't want to hire us on some jealousy type stuff. Odyssey said they weren't hiring. Um, the one that got hired, I'm not going to say the name of it. It has, po it has potential. Can you wait? It has potential. Kiara, I'm literally trying to. You don't succeed. Okay. What can? What am I supposed to do? Clean that shit up. How? It's gonna continue to bleed. We'll put a towel under her. Take her. Kiara, that's. Gonna... Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna keep these videos going for you guys because. I'm a YouTuber, this is what I do. I'm gonna be okay. I'm sad, but I'm gonna be okay. Um, so until next time. Why are you looking at me like that? You got something to say? Say bye. Bye. Bye.